Hey guys, welcome to Guns and Guitars. In this video, I'm just going to do a comparison of string tees. The one in the middle that you're looking at here is from Guitar Fetish, and you get two to a pack when you order them. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, this is the Fender American Genuine Part, and you get two to a pack on that, and they're a little bit more expensive. And then the one on the right here, this is the one that came with the um, Stratocaster when I purchased it. It's a Mexican Stratocaster. And um, you can see that the screw is about the same size as the one that comes with the American string T. Or, um, and basically, um, what I'm going to point out on the differences is this one seems to catch the strings even if you're just bending with your fingers and um, you know just kind of bending up on a string or something it it will catch and it's not really the best design that's cheap I guess um, this one from guitar finish I like is because the rollers are rollers they actually move so if your string is moving these will give a little bit and roll so hopefully that um, keeps your guitar in tune what I don't like about it is is the bottom of it does not have any way to lock in once you put the screw in so it can actually shift and I noticed that I was getting kind of like a little twangy noise up at my um, the head head of the neck from the um, I, I don't know if it was locking from you know twisting or what it was doing but it was making a little metallic -y noise um, like I said the screw is really long but um, it needs to be because the base of this thing is so thick so this really is high up off your strings. It's not putting a whole lot of pressure on them. You see that. This American one I haven't installed yet, but I think I'm going to like it a little bit better because it has this little peg on the bottom so that once you, um, you know, get it lined up, you kind of tighten the screw a little bit so it puts a little mark on your guitar and then you use a um, pin vise a drill bit and make a little hole so it'll lock in there so it won't twist from side to side. Now what's not that great on it is is the parts that these right here that hold the strings. This little part here, these don't roll. They do feel very smooth and um, I guess if you're using your tremolo bar, your vibrato, um, whammy bar, whatever you want to call it, they won't grab too much, but they're probably going to grab a little bit. Um, I've tried doing everything I could to keep the guitar in tune using the whammy bar. Um, I have roller bridge saddles on the guitar right now. No matter what I do, um, and I've worked on the nut a little bit to try and smooth that out, it's still on a couple of strings will go out of tune a couple cents, so um, I'm just going to go back to um, just decking the bridge and um, you know not dealing with it anymore. I just, I'm not going to have the, the whammy bar where it works. It just isn't worth it. And um, my other guitars are all um, hardtail guitars, so they you know, stay in tune a heck of a lot better. And um, the other thing I think I'm going to like a little bit better about the Strat, the American string tee, is the fact that it's a little bit lower than the guitar fetish. I'll put the two together so you can see what they look like. But I think. You know, once that's on the guitar, it's going to be probably somewhere around there on where it's keeping the strings down. So, um, you know, that'll make sure that there's no, none of that sitar sound or anything. So anyway, just a quick comparison of the different string tees that are available. None of them are particularly expensive. So, you know, it's, you, know you probably have a guitar with, that came with that. Um, it's worth trying these from Guitar Fetish. They work for you great, you, you know, very inexpensive, and, and they do have the roller. I just couldn't figure out a way to stop them from shifting side to side. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the guitar and see how that works. Um, I probably won't do an update or anything on it because, again, I'm just going to, you know, deck the bridge and, and um, just leave it as a hardtail so I won't be going out of tune. Anyway, hope this helps, and if you like the video, just go ahead and um, give me a thumbs up or um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. 